In this video, we will learn all about scatter plots. A scatter plot is a type of graph that is used to help you determine whether or not a relationship exists between two variables. When making a scatter plot, you need to have your two variables and decide which will go on the x-axis and which will be on the y-axis. Once you've plotted all your points, you'll be looking for if there's a relationship or what's called correlation between your two variables. So in this first example right here, we see the number of minutes on bike is our x-axis variable and distance from destination is our y variable. And we have a bunch of points. And I noticed that there does seem to be actually a correlation here because as the number of minutes increases, the distance is definitely going down. I can draw in this line here to sort of show the overall trend of what's happening. So we would call this a strong negative correlation. And the reason that it is negative is because as one variable is increasing, the minutes on the bike, the other variable is decreasing. Another way to think about it is this line that I drew in here has a negative slope. So it's a negative correlation. I'm saying it's a strong correlation because I noticed that all these points are really close to that line I drew in. They're really bunched together and are very close to a line. So that's why it's a strong negative correlation. You could also have a weak negative correlation where the points do tend to go down as the one variable goes up, the other goes down, but they're not as close to being a perfect line. Now, this line I drew in here is what's called a line of best fit. So sometimes when you have your scatter plot, you want to be able to capture the relationship with a line. And so you try to draw a line that shows the general trend. And when you're doing this, you want to have about the same number of points above the line as below and the overall distance from each point not on the line to the line to be the same for the points above as for below. If you really want to make a perfect line of best fit, the best way to do that is with a computer or with um, your calculator. But sometimes if you just want the general idea, it's fine to eyeball it and draw it in yourself. So we're going to look at two other examples of scatter plots to think about other types of correlation. Here's the next one, which shows temperature and people at the beach. So we don't have any numbers here, but I can see as my temperature is increasing, the number of people at the beach is slightly increasing as well. So if I were to try to draw in a line of best fit for this one, it might look something like that. Okay, so in this case, both variables increase at the same time. So this would be a positive correlation. It's sort of up to you if you think it's strong or weak. Um, you could also just say there's a positive correlation. In this case, I don't think it's as obviously a strong uh, positive correlation as it was for the last one. So I'm just going to say this is a positive correlation. And when we're saying that there's a correlation, that just means there actually is a relationship between the two variables which makes sense in this case. It makes sense that there would be a relationship between the number of people at the beach and the temperature on that day. Of course, those two things are going to be related. But it's possible that sometimes you might pick two variables that have no relationship at all, like height and test score. If you picked everyone in your class and figured out their height and their most recent test score, there's probably not going to be a relationship between those two. So we would say in that case that there's just no correlation at all. And in that case, you're not going to try to make a line of best fit or anything like that because there's no line to capture what's happening in this situation. So again, scatter plots are great ways to help you take some data and see if there's a relationship between the two different variables in your data. And the graphical representation is very visual, so it can help you to see, do you have a negative correlation, a positive correlation, or maybe there's no correlation at all.